What's up guys? Welcome back to Maestro Vapes. Today I'm shooting a vlog and the reason why I was shooting a vlog was I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions on a bunch of my different videos so I figured this would kind of help uh, to, to share some of those answers with everybody. People are asking me the same kind of questions a lot. Stuff like that. First off, I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Thanks a lot. The giveaway for the um, for the Big Nasty clone should be coming up pretty soon. Uh, you can win yourself a tube mod. It is the Big Nasty clone. So as long as you're subscribed to the channel, you have an opportunity to win that guy. Um, I also have a group on Facebook. It's called Maestro Vapes. It's not really a big group, but if you want to join that group, jump in there. We'll okay you to get in there. And uh, you have questions, you can post them on there as well. Pictures, stuff like that. Um, also, Instagram. I've been hooked on Instagram lately. I'm really digging it. Um, my username on there is Maestro Vapes as well. Go check it out. I really dig that. Um, I'm like hooked. I go on my Instagram. It's the first thing I do every day. I'm also on Twitter, which I don't go on too often, but I am on there if you want to follow it up. All right. So I'm going to have a sip of my copy and get into it. A um, couple of things I wanted to talk about. People have been saying um, on some of my build videos because I use a continuous strand of wire. I, I always use one piece of wire. I'll wrap my coil, put it through the post holes, and then wrap with that same piece of wire on the other side. People have been saying, oh, it's the sleeper build, or oh, somebody just watched Rip Trippers, or hey, that's called a sleeper build, or that's a sleeper build, sir. And really it's not like rip trippers likes to kind of give everything a name so it's always got to be like the hurricane or the stove top or you know the raging demon ball sack whatever it's going to be there's a name to it um really it's not a sleeper build a sleeper build was something that mike uh from vape happy did it was a build that he did that kind of looked inconspicuous and uh, it was kind of the beginning of micro coils at that time. And that thing vaped really good. He was building it sub ohm so it was vaping better than the one ohm stuff that people were building. Um, so that's why it was a sleeper. It's kind of like having, you know, a regular looking car but having a huge power plant of a motor in it, you know, and then just flooring it and letting it rip. You know what I mean? It's a sleeper. That's why Mike called it that. Um, the builds that I do are not called sleeper builds. They're just, uh, you can call them continuous strand builds or, you know, single piece of wire, you know, builds. <laughs> that's that's what it is. Um, you know, big ups to Rip Trippers. I love that dude's videos. When I started building, I watched a lot of his videos, but uh, I just kind of went a little further, you know, like I think right now he was... He's using like 22 gauge G plat, 24 gauge canthal, stuff like that. Whereas I kind of did that 24 gauge canthal and went to 22 and 20. And that's where my builds are kind of at. Um, people have been asking me if I can do some builds that are more 24, 26, 28 gauge. Um, I've been thinking about doing some, but the thing is, like I, I need to... I need to vape those when I'm done building them. So I'm not going to build like a 1.5 ohm coil because I'm not going to end up vaping it. I might do a tutorial on a K fund that comes in at like 0.8 um, because it's just my favorite build. And it's, it's pretty simple. It's a certain amount of wraps with a certain gauge of wire. And that's really it for me um, for that. So yeah, and people have been asking if, uh, if I would sell them builds. And the, the answer to that is no. Like, the thing is, I don't know what type of batteries you're using. I don't know what type of mod that you're using. So I just don't feel good about it, you know? Like, I could build anybody, you know, four wrap 20 gauge coils that come in at, like, around 0.1. But, like, if, if you're using 10 amp batteries on a stainless Nemi or something, or a, you know, stainless or smoke tech magneto, it's probably going to vent on you. Like you're going to feel hot gases coming through your threads and through the ventilation holes, and it's going to burn your hand, you know, like it's not going to be enjoyable. And I don't want to do that. I just don't want to do that. Um, my apologies, you know, like, 
And I, I thought about having people send me pictures, but I can go online right now and find pictures of somebody holding like this mod with this battery in their hand going, all right, this is what I got, send me a build. But eh, it's just, <laughs> I could go and find that. So really, I can't really do that. So my apologies, but it just, it's my own peace of mind, right? Um, batteries, talking about batteries. What batteries do I use? Everybody asks me because my builds can can rock up to, you know, almost 300 watts sometimes. The last build that I did was, I think it was 0 0.06. And when I did it on the ohm calculator, it was coming in at like 296 watts. And the drain was huge. I wish I had the calculator, calculator right now because it was rocking really high. Like it was like 70 amps or something like that. It was pretty high. Um... If, if I were using like an EFAS 10 amp battery, they would vent. I guarantee it, they would probably short out. What would happen is it would get super hot. You'd feel it, you'd open it up, you'd take it out and the battery would be hot. You'd probably chuck it somewhere and it would just short. Like it just wouldn't work again. That's what would happen. So you just kill your batteries. Uh, the batteries that I use typically are these guys. I use the uh, Sony VTC5s. I've got a couple of Sony VTC4s that I use as well. Same looking battery, the green batteries. Um, sometimes I use these. They're the 35 amp EFS. But uh, I think what they are is just the LG 30 amp batteries. The ones that are like 20 amps that pulse up to 35, whatever that thing is. Those red wrapper batteries. I'm pretty sure these 35s and those are exactly the same. Um, a, another battery that I really dig is the Purple EFS, the 30 amp batteries. I like the 30s better than the 35s personally. I think they hit just a little bit harder and they handle uh, low resistance builds a little better. Just in my personal opinion from uh, what I've done with them. Maybe it has to do with uh, them being 2100 ma instead of 2500. That might have something to do with it. Um, but for the most part, those are the batteries that I use. If I use 26650 mods, I use these, the MNKEs. These things can rock, pulse up to like 50 amps. So they work pretty well. Um, the Sonys I feel really safe with. The uh, VTC5s, I don't have the spec sheet with me, but they can pulse up to like 100 watts, okay? Now, that's for like, I think it's 8 seconds. 8 seconds, these can pulse up to 100 watts. So, they can handle the build. So, when I said that 296 watt build that I did, hitting at like, I think it was around 70? 70, 70 watts? Yeah. Or 70 amps, sorry. The batteries can handle it for short bursts. But if you're vaping something that's rocking at a couple hundred watts, you're not gonna take pulls that are over eight seconds long. You're probably gonna take pulls that are about, you know, two to five seconds tops, okay? Let me try and have a pull off this. This is uh, 20 gauge parallels, 22 gauge parallels, I think. Let me see how long a pull I can take off this. Never really tried. Gets too hot. Like, especially with the Zenith that I'm using right now. Let's try this thing out. <laughs> you can't go too long, you know? Like, you can't friggin' burn in this thing. So, it's my builds are made for short burst pulls, so there's no way I could hit over 8 seconds. That was really hard. I wasn't really paying attention to my draw. To my inhale, that sucked. Let's try again. Short pulls, that's what I do. Yeah, Sony batteries, definitely the best thing going. I know there's a, a Samsung battery right now too. I think it's a blue colored battery. And uh, that thing's supposed to be pretty killer as well. Uh, once I get my hands on some, I'll check them out, let you know how they are. Uh, a friend of mine's actually supposed to grab me two of them and they're like relatively cheap. They're, you know, like eight bucks a piece or something like that. So we'll see how that works. What else? People have been asking me 
what I use, like what devices I use. Same thing with the batteries. So VTC5s are my go-to. 30 amp eFest is my second go-to. 35 amp eFest if I don't have another battery to rock and MNKEs. Uh, the mods I'm using right now, I've been vaping this uh, cartel, the Copper Cartel clone. This is the uh, infinite clone of it, three tubes it comes with, and this thing is sick. Like, it is super awesome right now. I've been rocking on this for a little while, and uh, it is great. It's super good. Um, I've got a Zenith V2 on here, just stock, nothing too exciting about it. Regular Zenith uh, 22 gauge parallels in here, and it's vaping really, really nice. I dig this mod a lot. Um, but my favorite mod that's been the best thing for me to vape that's always there, that always works, that always hits, is the Copper Nemesis. This is an H Cigar Copper Nemesis. And uh, I've rocked this for months and months and months. And uh, pretty much, I think, the all this year. Like, I think I've been rocking this all this year. And uh, it is awesome. Like... It's beautiful. It's a cheap clone, but it works well. Even with the spring, like it worked okay. I actually got the Atmo Masani magnets for this. Like they're like $20 magnets for like a $40 clone. So I really, really like this one. Um, yeah, it hits every time. There's never a misfire on this. It handles the builds pretty well. The only thing that I've found is I've got a little bit of arcing where I've had like weird spots, like maybe there was a ding in it. So when I put it under a heavy load, I've gotten a couple little warps into it from, you know, potential venting, I guess. But uh, yeah, it, it works really good. The uh, drippers I'm using, I drip for the most part. If I don't drip, I use this guy's, the, uh, the K-Fun Light Plus. I take this with me, you know, pretty much everywhere. I really dig this. If I don't want to drip, I'll have this and I could just have pulls off of it. 26 gauge build in here that comes out to like 0.8 and it works really, really good. Um, yeah, the dripper. This one is the, uh, is this the Tobacco or the Infinite? It's the Toe Batty. Either way, it's the Copper Toe Batty. And uh, I've got it drilled out, you know, I drilled out those three holes into slots and then I drilled like four more holes on either side. And it's good for the builds that I do. Um, I dig the airflow on it. Like it, it just works okay. Um, the tip I'm rocking is a two puffs muffler tip. It's a copper tip. It's really nice. It just looks really streamlined on here. I dig this thing a lot. Yeah, Copper Nemi, you can't go wrong. Um, yeah, I dig it a lot, a lot. I've been vaping a Copper Panzer, as you've seen on some videos, Copper Stingray. All the mods I'm really vaping right now are Copper mods. Conductivity on them is really, really good. Um, builds. Most of my builds are, and the Stellaire. I've been vaping the Stellaire clone as well. Um, sometimes I vape a gold-plated Sentinel with a cryptic stripper on it too, but my cryptic stripper is just drilled out to like a three mil air hole. So it's not like cloud chasing setup. It's just kind of a chill out and take out with me kind of vape. So I'm not blowing huge clouds on, you know, everybody walking around. Um, that's a good one. Uh, where was I going? Builds, builds. Yeah, all my builds have pretty, by, pretty much been 20 and 22 gauge Canthal builds. That's what I'm that's what I'm at uh, that's what I dig um, sometimes I'll just do contact coils just regular micro coils I usually wrap around a 2.4 millimeter precision screwdriver I just dig that diameter I just I can wick to it and it just it works well with how I build um, wraps I usually wrap four wraps no matter what build I go to um, if I do do more wraps, it takes a longer time for it to heat up. Um, if I go less than four wraps, it, it just heats up too quick. And sometimes you get hot legs and then you get a burnt taste. 
Um, so four wraps seems to be a pretty sweet spot for me to build at. But that might be something that, you, if, you know, if you're trying things out, you might want to experiment um, with that if you haven't already. Um, wicking. Wicking. Somebody asked me about that uh, Kogendo, what is it, the Japanese cotton. If I used it, if I like it. I don't know. I, I haven't used it. It's kind of, it's pretty foreign to me. I can't really wrap my head around it. Like it seems like a different learning curve to it because it's like those little sheets and you got to cut them and figure out how many to use to wick at this diameter. And I just don't feel like learning it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kind of content just using organic cotton, ripping off a strip and then kind of molding it to what I like. That's just what I dig until, until other people are just, you know, claiming that it's the best thing and the best flavor, then I'll try it. But right now it's just a lot of people have been wicking with it for a long time and a lot of people really like it, I'm sure. And maybe I should give it a shot. So we'll see if you have some, send me some, I'd like to try it out. Um, but yeah, I, I usually just, you know, fluffy wick my coils. Um, I'm going to do a video in the near future, which is a wicking video to kind of show you how I wick and what works best for me. Um, and yeah, you can kind of switch it up and do whatever you like, you know, like it's, it's an art, like it's building is kind of an art. You just kind of play around with it and see what works for you. You know, I'm try I try to share things that work for me and hopefully you could take those and then, you know, either build that way and like it, or maybe flip that a little bit and do something else. If you have something else that works really good, let me know. Um, if you do have ideas for videos, shoot them my way. Like if you have build videos or stuff like that, or maybe you're a vendor, if you're a vendor and you want to send me stuff, I'll take stuff to review and check it out. Um, it would save me a bit of dough if you sent me something. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm vaping. You know, I'm I vape uh, Brass Hades a little bit here and there with uh, an Omega Dripper, 28 mil dripper. The Stingray with the patina on it, you might have seen in some videos. And those are pretty much my go-tos. I have a box with some other stuff, but uh, it's kind of retired stuff a little bit or stuff that's kind of sentimental to me that I'm just holding on to. Like the Private V2 clone, I really like that, you know, months ago. I really dug that a lot and it worked really well for me. Ah, uh, Smoke Tech Magneto, I like that, you know, when that came out, that was pretty sick. I took that with me everywhere. Like I took that with me until like four months ago. Like I still kind of carried it. I didn't really vape it because it couldn't handle a lot of the builds I was doing then. Um, but yeah, I dig that one too. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it, you know, like. That's it. I'm going to be doing a video for the Stellaire clone. That's coming up soon. I'm going to be doing a video for the Zenith uh, V2 clone. I'm going to be doing a video for this guy. This is the uh, Cartel mod. Look out for that. That's going to be a decent vid. Um, I'm going to have a build coming up. I still haven't really figured out what I'm going to do. I think I know what I'm going to do. It's going to be a twisted build that's coming up. I don't think I've done too many twisted videos, if any, unless it's like a Tiger Coil video. So there's going to be a twisted one, and uh, I'll show you what I do for that. Oh, uh, yeah. And that's pretty much it, guys. I think that's it. Now I'm just starting to kind of rant. I'm tr starting to kind of go into my own headspace here and lose my marbs. Anyway, guys. Thank you again for subscribing. I gotta turn the air conditioner on in here because it is hot right now. Um, right now, as I'm filming this, it's Canada Day right now. So happy Canada Day to all my Canadian friends out there and uh, to all, all my peeps out in Finland. I wanna say, Terveisiä kaikille on mukava tätä kato tätä. No niin, I'll talk to you guys later. See you on the next one. Maestro Vapes coming at ya. This thing hits good. Let me just have Wicked pull off this and show you how this thing hits. It's pretty boss. Oh yeah, juices. I didn't tell you what juices I've been vaping. 
I've been vaping some Dash Vape stuff. They have a line of Max VG. Uh, it's like 80, 20, something like that is the ratio of it. You know, giving flavors and whatever else is in here. Uh, three milligram nicotine in this. Uh, what's my go-to? My favorite juice right now is this. It's a vanilla custard. It's kind of spicy a little bit. This is like Canada renowned Toronto Juice Company, OMC right now. This is Boss Juice. Uh, try that out. What else am I vaping? A little bit of five ponds here and there in my cape mine sometimes. It's a little, little more refined, like a nice scotch. All right, let me have a poll here. Hopefully I didn't overjuice this. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, what is this? Cloudy with a chance of melons? Cloudy with a chance of melons. This is a nice juice for my boys at Dash Vapes. Those guys are sick. If you haven't checked out their website and their shop, it is awesome. It's all authentics there, no clones. Um, but they do have your entry level devices and stuff like that. It's pretty sweet. Uh, vape me too. I've been grabbing stuff from there. Can vape. I still got to make a trip down to Vape Shore and check that out. New shop in Etobicoke. I'm excited about that one too. So to all the vapors out there, if you can't make it to Vape Can, I'll see you around guys. Maybe I should close like I usually close the videos. All right, sorry. This is the first vlog. This is like new to me. I don't even know where to go with this. I should script these a little better. Um, remember, guys, but I vape up and breathe easy. Know your limits and vape within it. You're going to have a stellar day, guys. Catch you on the next one. Review tutorial. It's coming up soon.